Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Search and Destroy Warhawk will be the game mode and the map. You did just see the Avant boys on your screen there. They walked away with map number one. Now, Mike, have you seen their new jerseys, those new jumpers? I, I want have. one. I want one. You want everything, though. Do you think I can get one? Like, I if doubt I it. Cause I'm only already, special people only. I'm already a fanboy. But what if I like brought it to like a next level fanboy? Maybe? I think you already are the next level fanboy. Yeah. I'm pretty much far into it. But we'll get straight into the action, guys. Search and destroy on Warhawk. As we said, Avant Guard, they're up 1-0 in this best of three series. We play all the maps because it is pool play. The other two, we're in the pro bracket, by the way, so they're four teams in pro bracket. Immunity are facing Pathfinder right now. They're playing their games down on the little cot area. You can see it behind us. These are all the cod players, if you guys were wondering. Avant, uh, no, Immunity, let me just try. They're like, Mike, you have to you point can, You can see yeah, buzzing. There's buzzing. Right there. You can see his muscles, which is creepy. But that's Immunity right there. They're going to play the games about against Pathfinder, their best of three series. We'll probably see them on the main stage up next, versus either one of these two teams. It's going to be quite interesting to see how. I wouldn't be surprised if they 3 0 them just because Immunity are on a next level. But you never we'll know. See. We'll see how things go. Back into mm -hmm. this game, though. Avant taking on Trident. SD Warhawk. Oh, yeah. The attacking rounds will be Trident's up first. It's going to be interesting. It's going to be extremely What's gonna interesting. What's going to happen? Where are you calling it? We go first up. Now you have five seconds to go. Well, ever since the most recent bans, players and teams haven't been going. Well, they normally prefer that B bomb side because it's much more easy to just scope it out. Personally, I think, A, ever since the most recent bans and pa patches and whatnot would be more of an option. But obviously, Rebellion, they have the past history over there at B. First Blood does go to a VAR. Actually, Rival got it for his own team, but Benno did answer back. You did see tags going out from Wolfie. He did spot a player. He did a Comet to his team, and that is going to cost Mental his life. All out to Wolfie. 1v3. Already taken out one player, though. And Glimpse the other one. Yeah, it is, it is, Ooh, he was able to see that one. He's down to 1v1 situation up against Valsider. He's going to need to play tricky because he can't either go for the OBJ or he can't go for the kill. But 50 seconds is still plenty oh. of time. And these kills happen really, really early in the round. But now he's going to decide where, in a great he spot to, though. where he wants he to make anything happen. He sees him, but he no, didn't kill he's him. to pick off the kill. He's going to rotate around. And, I mean, you're going to be seeing if all sided now. Unfortunately, just just wasn't able to you know pick that kill off. Wow, you got to respect Wolfie for that play there. He got tagged up. Vile started missed it. You know what? He put his head down, and he just ran for A. He's going to get that bomb down as quick as he can. And Vile Sider has made the rotation. Good comps. Let's actually see what Vile Sider, how he places, because the bomb does go down into American. Does go Wolfie. Oh, he gets oh. the tag down. Oh, the oh. wall bang by Vile. What a way to get the kill and the first round. Avant, they're going to take it. That's a great start out of them. It is. I mean, he's going to have the kill to his day, plus the defuse. Adding, adding up to his streak. Good guy, Vile Sider. I mean, at the end of the day, that's that's the first round. They I need respect five more to that go. hybrid scope too, because that came in quite handy there. Because normally, if you had a red dot, the kick would have maybe you know missed a few of those shots. So Vile showing everyone why you guys should break that out. Good guy, Vile Sider. They're going to swap sides. Let's watch him. He did quite well for his team. We'll see him on the uh, offensive side, how he plays this. I actually did see a scope. So sorry, we're going to have to find out which Avant player actually has that bad boy out, and it might be Benno. I'm going to assume it is as he's rocking. Can he get pistol. that first blood? You saw. Hopey and Macca, though, they, they, they make Maybe sure not. to... not. I think they're <laughs> racing for that first kill at, at that stage. And right now, they just won't be able to spot him. Only two players left for Trident. And oh, this is bad I don't them. think they're too eager to, to run forward and die at the moment. Well, they don't know that Benno has a sniper. And if I knew Benno had a sniper, I wouldn't go near that bomb site. But, oh, Vanish has got his own. And I have seen him get a few disgusting shots online. So you can maybe recreate that. But there you go. Benno in the background. Proves why he does it. Can he get the quick? Ooh. Oh, look at that. Face vanish there. Nice little kill take out. Mac. It was 22 seconds. Still three players to contest with. He's going to make some more magic. There's another play right in front. Oh, nearly gets a shot. But Benno gets the final two remaining players with the scope. Second round goes to Avant Guard. Respect for them. They got that B bond site locked down quite quickly and efficiently. It just went in their favor ever since. So far, they've got an attacking round. They've also got a defensive round. Mm -hmm. They're on the clean sweep so far, but Trident still have time to change. Are you trying to say around. they're going to 6-0 them? Is that what we'll, you're trying we'll, to say? We'll see. We'll see how it happens. I mean, Ooh. oh, Wolfie, no balls. He had the silencer out. He, that he, he that did makes change a little bit, but vanish with the scope. See what he can do, actually. See, oh, oh he's not no. going to be happy about that. He's not going to be happy about that. Vonderhard, even though it isn't Black Ops 2, but you know, it, it makes sense. I like this uh, play actually by Vanish watching the flex side. He didn't see the player. That is gut wrenching. Valsider gets the kill, and now it's up to Rival and Wolfie to try clutch this one out. They do not want to go 3 0 to Avant Guard, so that's just not going to work out too well. Shaky shots there by Rival, and it will cost him his life in the end there, even though he did trade the kill. Wolfie does get out, Hopi. 1v2. He was going to go through gate. Oh, but Vile checks it. 
The problem was he wanted to run through it, but the fact that it wasn't broken, it would have just identified to the Ivanka guys where he was, and Varsad ended up checking it in the end. So unlucky there for Wolfie Ivanko. Go up 3-0. This is a picture perfect start from them. I just want to point out, after all those shots, only the fighter one actually opened the gate. <laughs> Don't you love it? That gate. Welcome to some. Call of Duty Ghost, ladies and cool. gentlemen. <laughs> but you know, we are going to be jumping aboard with the attacking team. Volsider three and zero. But yeah, we do have a we scope have to watch play. Better. Yeah, he, how many kills has he actually got with this? I think all of his kills have been with the scope. Can he get the first blood? He doesn't have that lightweight on, so he won't beat the defensive players to get to it. Oh, that's a beautiful nade from Hope. I was about to say, because we have Oracle mode. When the players hover over them and they can't see them, I'm just like, shoot them. Just, just do just it. Just go for the wall bag. Just I mean, do you, it. You have nothing to lose. But over here, the objective is going to get planted as always, on by the, the B side. So now, tried it. They've dropped another player as Wolfie gets dropped by Benno. Vanish with the scope himself. He loves and that scope. Mental on the donut, but oh, tries to if, can't connect if it. If Mental of all people drops a donut at LAN, he's going to cop it. He will cop it, I tell you what. That's what a bunch should be going for right now. Make sure Mental gets a donut. Nice little wall bangs there by Hopi in the end there. Good job out what of the zero. Four zero. Not what I would have expected. I said this would be hotly contested between the two teams, but this is so one-sided right now. We'll see if they'll be able to change something up. I mean, try it. Can still come back in this one. And we'll see what will happen. All right, well, Mental is on the donut. Oh, tags with the grenade. Let's see if maybe he can get his first blood. The pre-fire. He's got to watch out for the event player who's right in front of him. Oh, gets absolutely destroyed by Benno. He's still on the donut. Zero for five. He's not even dropping the boon stick. That's a little unfortunate. Vanish watching the flank. And how often have we said this? 2v4 between, you know, there's always two players from Trident Rebellion and four for Ivan. And it's always the same players as well. I mean, you always, you have Wolfie and Mental on five deaths and oh right here, no. Rival and Vanish, you know, they're just going to be dropping as well. Vanish, last one alive. Once again, this time he's not going to be last alive with the scope. So I guess that's going to that be a little was, bit so. reassuring. He's going to need to go for this objective at some point. 40 seconds on the clock and the Ivan players are high. He sees one and he picks oh, up the nice kill. Nicely shot. done, but he still has three other players left. Yeah, that's not that's not what you want with 35 seconds remaining. Three players, and they all know exactly where he is. He runs around the corner. Vile will clean him up. Avargaard, one round away from getting the 6-0 clean sweep here. They, they, they look confident. Yeah, they're just chill back. They're just like, you know what? We're taking these rounds. We're doing mm -hmm. everything right. Let's Confidence keep, is key. Keep it the way we're doing it. Absolutely right there. Well, this is this is actually... I'm a little shocked how one-sided this could be. And we could actually see one of the players from the team of Rebellion drop a donut, which is just... In Ozcod, that's not a good thing. It, it really isn't. We'll see what will happen this time around. Those two players from Avant want to play a little bit more aggressive. Try it. They don't want to drop early this time either, as you have Hopi on your screen. Gotta love the aggression. Orca shoot mode, him. as you shoot mentioned, him. you just, you just want to shoot, but the shot's going to go out for both these teams anyway, so now they're just going to be looking at their mini maps to try and gouge where these players are. Ooh. Will he run into him? That is the question. You have a little gap to see through there as well, and he did see him. Oh, there we go, shoot him. through. Pick up the kill. Oh, oh he gets tags on the second. Hoping. He gets tags again, but he won't be able to pick up the kill. His teammates with the scopes right behind, trying to provide a little bit of color. There we go. Yeah, oh there we go. My God. Taking out the kill Wolf. on Wolfie. 2v3. Try to stay in this map. Look at Hopi right now. He finally drops. Mental gets a kill. And that could have just got them back into this series. All this game, hopefully. It's always helpful when your actual team does get kills. I've found out. You know, I'm, I'm a caster, so I'm not that good, unfortunately. But Benno gets a nice little pistol kill. Ooh. Mental can't finish it off. Two-piece for Benno. That's going to be the breadstick for Mental. Look at this kill cam. There's one. Sprays him down. He just destroyed Mental. He really did, and that is going to be an Avad clean wow. sweep 6-0 Six Six in the Pro Pool. Whew. That's, wow. I'm I'm shocked. I've seen clan v clan matches that are closer than that. Avad just on another speechless. level today. We're speechless. That yeah, is honestly it. They're on another really level. Are. Maybe the fact that Trying Rebellion didn't scrim as much came into this event, that might play a factor. Might I have impacted. Know. Yeah. Apparently that does. Practice does help. Well, in Avant, they actually prove it. You're going 6-0. 100 point club them in the domination. 6 0 them in the search and destroy. I don't, I don't want to say what they're going to do in the Blitz. Because it might be illegal. It might be criminal what they do to the Rebellion I think we just have to team. wait and see. We're going to have to wait and see exactly right there. We're going to go do a quick little break, guys. Make sure you stay tuned. It's going to be a Blitz on Octane, which is Avant's map. 
This could be the end of Trident Rebellion right now in this series. Avant looking to get the Frio clean sweep. Kicking it off with Avant Hopi, Blitz Octane. This, is, of course, is pool play between Avant Guard, Trident Rebellion in the pro bracket of ACL Sydney. Mike, this is going to be the final map between these two teams. Avant have already taken out two of them, Trident Rebellion. This is their chance to get some redemption and get a map on the board. It is Blitz on Octane, though, the last yeah. time. And it was <laughs> online that we saw this game, a 70 cap total yeah. on, on Octane. So I'm, I'm having high hopes for Avant on this map. You, you just want to see them spamming the cap, don't you? That, that's sort of the objective, so yeah. Scumbag, Mike, said, but good job there, Bob. Oh, getting a little defensive kill there. No one has got a capture yet a minute into this one. So it doesn't look like we will go to the 70 kills. Wolfie finally killed. He's going on a little bit of a tear there in the advanced spawn. And here comes Avant Guard. Rival might have just sneaked past him, though. No one's playing defense. He should be able to get this capture. And that should be the first capture of the game. But look at that mini map. Avant Guard have pushed up fairly aggressively on trying to rebel in his own base. Hope he's going to be turning around the corners. Oh, good over defense. The stairs, but he will get taken down. Vile Sider now. The closest one to the cap point, I believe he did see one there, but he's going to get shot in the back, getting taken down, denying them of the cap and tried it, put another one in on the board. Well, there it is, a 2-0 start to the team trying to rebel in. Much better than not only the search and destroy, but the domination, because they're actually winning for once 
Uh, Hopi, he's trying to get a retaliation. He didn't see the player. He just tried to run it on in there. Sneak on by. Didn't work, unfortunately. They need to get rid of that defensive player who's doing a lot of damage. That is mental. Three for one right now. He's just playing good defense in top motel and just shutting down Avant from pushing up at all. It definitely is. And I mean, Ooh. you're going to be seeing a mental pick off the kill there on Hopi. Maka currently on your screens. We see them on Oracle mode, but they are a fair while away. His teammates just going to be picking off these kills as well, so he doesn't even need to worry about them. Mm -hmm. He's going to push on forward, try to go for well, the three down. J and right there, three down, as you mentioned, the last one. Team now sporty up and back is just going to be running straight into them. He doesn't care. He'll pick off one and it'll proceed on forward, of course, keeping by the score two to one with oh, the Maka. first quarter just going past. Nice little double there by Maka that's going to throw two of the Rebellion team in the spawn. Oh, he tries to duck in and out, but he might have just done it enough there, and he does do so. Avant, they get their second capture, but still a lead for Trident Rebellion. They are up by one, and we're only a quarter into this game. Watching Hopi now pushed up fairly aggressively with an R5. He's got to deal with one player from Rebellion who's opposite the wall. He po pokes around. Hopi should be more aware than that. That's going to be unfortunate, and that's going to allow the team of Trident Rebellion to get back that two capture lead. Look at Vanish at the moment. I mean, he's being a little bit sneaky, and he's getting set up for another cap in to his teams. They've six to three, doubling Avad's score at the current time. Mac will mm -hmm. be able to pick off one, and they're just setting up for these relays. Avad are getting caps as well, but as long as trying to keep on doing the same in the same amount of time, they'll yeah. be able to you know, keep this lead going and see once again an uncontested goal. Too easy. They just strolled on in, not a care in the world. They did also lose a capture in the process, but as long as they hold on to, as you said, that two capture lead, they're going to be in high spirits. No one from Avant really doing some defense. They come off the quick respawn. There is one play from Avant guard. You can't see them in top motel. They should be able to relay another capture unless the defensive player from the team of Trent Rebellion can stop them. But look at Rifle pushed up quite aggressively. They do get the kills, and there should be another capture for them. Vile Sider does die, and that's going to cost them two captures for nothing. Maka trying to just rotate over now. He's got his teammates' support, but will they be able to keep it strong? Sees one on the stairs, will be able to pick up the kill. And there we go, there's a cap for themselves. Nine to seven, a minute ten on the clock. And mm -hmm. currently, these, you know, trying to definitely showing they still have spirit in there. Oh, they are absolutely going off right now. It's not the team that we saw in the domination and the search and destroy, so it's, it's really, you know, it's not as concerning to actually see them go positive, especially Mental, who's already got seven more kills than he did in the entire search and destroy, which is helpful. Avant Garde there. Bring it to a one-point game. They need to start doing some defensive work. You said that last time that we saw these two teams, they went to 70 points. We've already nearly seen 20 captures go down. This, is, this is close. Yeah, overall, I mean, it was only the Avant team, not Trident, that actually got to that 70 cap oh, total. Okay. But still, I mean, Avant, they, they, they got the majority of them in the end. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you're going to be seeing 12 to 11. It's actually catch quite you know, quite a lot so it's far just back in the and last forth. couple of minutes. That's what I've it, it was a three-point lead to Trident. Yeah. Now it's only one. And, I mean, they're getting these Look caps at, that. at the same yeah, exactly time. Exactly the same time. They're exactly right, Mike. They need to watch over the crossover. You do see, actually, for Oracle Rifle. Didn't see the player. We did, though. And so long as back. Ooh. Oh, that's so close. And they're just trying to cap the cap right now. There's a good kill by Vile. He needs to get this capture. Four seconds. Two players coming in. Will it allow? Oh, no. Sorry. That's his own teammate. That's helpful. They get the buzzer beat to capture there. But back and forth do the two teams go. It looks like whoever does the best defensive work coming into the second half will walk away with some map. I mean, with the scores this close, it definitely that defense is going to be oh, yeah. important. De Playing defense these, is helpful. These kills apparently. are just happening at the exact same time. One mm -hmm. team needs to just swap over, pick off a couple kills, get that lead going, and just you know rotate back and forth, rotate back and yeah. forth. And, I mean, you're going to be seeing 15 to 14. So a total it's, of 29 caps so far. 29 captures have already gone down between these two teams. And we're only five minutes into this one. Good stun checks there by Avant. I like Rival hanging back. Benno pushed up. He knows his play is there. He did glimpse one of them. What's he going to go for? What's a peek and poke? He needs to check it there. It's Rival. And how does he play this? I like the pre-fire, but at a distance like that, the Empire is effective, but not that effective. Rival. Oh, Vile gets one. There's a good double by Wolfie. The defensive work does quite well. Maka doesn't get the kill. That is huge. And that will allow the team of Rebellion to just funnel in some captures and get control of the middle map. Going to be seeing Trident now just trying to go on forward. Avad see a couple, but they won't be able to stop them. And they Look at them. They're all to, in their base. I mean, three players that are there, they're going to get one cap, and they're going to make it 17 to 15. Of course, the series is already wrapped up in Avad's mm -hmm. favor, but that map could definitely be crucial for some seeding. Well, it is pool play, so all the maps go towards the seeding. So they need this. They honestly do need this. Trying to rebel and they do not want to go down 3 nothing and try it versus the other juggernauts. 
and the other pro teams and try to get maps off them because it's going to be no easy feat. They're doing quite well right now. They've got back that three capture lead, which we saw in the first half. But we'll be surprised if Avangard are able to pull it back to a one cap lead. We'll see what will happen though. Three minutes 40 on the clock. Wolfie on your screen, pushing on down, getting tags, waiting for that player to poke on up. And there we go, pushing oh, on forward, picking off the kill. Five. One player from Avangard will actually beat him, taking him down. Rival, it says, on a five streak. So we'll now jump on board with him. Will he, will he actually check this? No, he doesn't need to because the player will just run straight in front of him at 18 Too to easy. 16. They have this open goal right here. Uh, They're going to take advantage no. of that, get that cap, make it once again a three point lead. It, it's just concerning to see the lack of defense by Avant Guard. They're only sending Maka there. And Maka is an animal, but he can't defend against an entire team. And they're just running in. See, like that. He unfortunately can't, even when you're facing Wolfie, who's just going off with that vector. You can tell. By your scoreboard there, Wolfie is top scoring. 17 kills, 5 captures. Mental yet to get a capture. He's doing that defensive role. But Vanish, Rival, Wolfie, all of them sharing that OBJ work. I just want to point out on the minimap, we could see one of the Avant players just being able to pick off a defensive kill not even that far away from the cap itself. Unfortunately, it did drop after. As you mentioned, you know, one mm -hmm. player just can't stand against the whole team of you know where they want to yeah. go for that blitz cap. Wolfie will take down better Hopi. Now rotating over for this defense. He's just going to get a couple of free shots there. No one is there, but Ooh. he'll be able to pick up the kill. On the left, unfortunately, can't get the right. And right now, Macker is there to pick up the slack. Well, there's nearly a triple there for Rival. That's a nice double by Macker. Finally does some good defense for his own team there. And it's still a two-point lead. So many captures going in from these two teams. And what, what's interesting right now, they're in a bit of a stalemate. Because if they keep funneling these captures, it's just going to stay a 1.2 game, three-point game. But the first team oh. that plays defense, if they lose that, so if they lose it, you know, contesting, then trying try to play defense, they're just going to lose so many captures, it's going to be impossible to get back from it. But if they do win the defense, if they go for it, they'll be able to stop the flow of points and maybe answer back. That's the situation that both of these teams are in right now. And it just makes it so much more harder because Avant are down by two captures. And the team of Rebellion, they just don't look like they're stopping anytime soon. I mean, I even for Rebellion, if they're doing the exact same thing that they're doing now, mm -hmm. it's working for them. They've got the lead. Oh, even though they're getting captured at the same rate, they've got the lead by two. And you see Avant catching back up by one once again. And, and none of the Trident players are really in a position to get to, to try and no, get that, that happening those for them. But you see here, one player from Avant now left to deal against two players. He's going to get taken down. That's, That's going to be a captain there. But That's a four down. Once again, 25 to 23, a two point lead. A minute 20 on the clock. Plenty of time to catch back up. But Avant needed turn things around here. You see Rival six streak, it says Wolfie at four, Mentor at four now as well. Oh. They're getting these caps, they're getting these kills. And this is just see, too this easy. Is, this should be their map. Yeah, this is just too easy right now for the team of Trident Rebellion and they're just running in the captures. They, as soon as they got that four down, I think that might have been the nail in the coffin. Three point advantage for them. Rival is just being casually running through the middle of the map. It's not a care in the world. Mentor oh. trying to get that pre fire. He does get the kill in the end of Beto. I'm not too sure what he's going for there, but you know what? It worked out quite well. He can't get the second kill, which is unfortunate, but with a lead yeah, of three points, with 40 seconds left, I think it's safe to say Trinity Rebellion will actually walk away with the map. I mean, that's going to be a great thing for them, so it will be a 2 1 Yeah, getting overall, maps is helpful, isn't I it? I mean, it, it is still three points of difference, so it is still time to go ahead and, you know, get this one. They've done a great step by getting one cap in for themselves. Still mm -hmm. two points, the difference. Maybe to try and get a tie, and there we go. Try to get one in for themselves, and that's just going to be that's a GG. It. GG between these two teams, of course. We're playing pool play, if you guys just tuned in to the final few seconds of this Blitz game. Avant, they will take this one out. 2-1. Rebellion do get one map, so that will go towards their seeding position. Uh, Avant, though... Already was a great lead. I, we will get a quick update later on, seeing how the Immunity Pathfinder game's going and where the series is in that. But as of right now, it will be Avant Guard on top of that seating position there. The two maps to one. And that was a great game by both of these two teams. Standing up, giving you know, a little bit of a handshake, saying they're GG's, and that's going to be the first game done of the day. 2-1 in favour of Avant. First game of the day already done, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to go to a break. We'll be back with the second game or second round of the Pro Bracket Pool Play. Not too sure what the two teams will be, but we'll find out as quick as we can actually for you. So make sure you stay tuned, mlg.tv forward slash ACL. Join the conversation on Twitter, hashtag ACL Sydney.